Hi, I'm Cindy Eiler, and I'm here to talk about when you internalize your feelings, you could actually be making your life a lot harder and a lot more difficult. Well, I guess hard and difficult are the same thing, but uh, just cause for a lot of problems that you really don't need. We all have enough things to deal with without having more issues due to internalizing feelings. My name is Cindy Eiler and I help you understand and transform your life. And today I'm talking about how internalizing your feelings could be making your life worse than you realize. So it's a huge subject and obviously I'm not going to touch on all the points, but I am going to tell you some really important things that happen when you do this. So why do people internalize their feelings? Now, you may know some of these reasons and you may not know. So it's worth opening your ear and hearing this. So sometimes, uh, well, most times when people internalize, I'd probably say 100% of the time at least, is because they think that others aren't going to understand them or people won't agree with them. And even more so, they don't even know if they agree with themselves. Now, you might be convincing yourself that you believe the way you feel, but a lot of times you could be confused about the way you feel, but you internalize it so much that you end up creating stories around it, creating beliefs around it, and creating a lot of discomfort around the feelings that you're internalizing. Because you know how many times that you could be tossing something around in your head and it's bothering you. Obviously, if you feel like other people are not going to understand your feelings or you feel like uh, you're confused about it, the more you think about it on your own, the more you create these scenarios that make you feel worse. And then the worst part about it is if you continue to internalize it, then you start living your life in two ways. You live your reality of what your life feels like as the person that you are, knowing all of these feelings that you're internalizing and basing your life from those feelings that you're internalizing and then viewing your life from that place that you're internalizing. But then you have the whole world around you, your relationships, your family, your work, and they have no idea what's going on that you're internalizing and most likely agonizing over because you're not sharing it. You're not, you don't have an outlet. You're just letting it stew and get deeper and deeper within you. And so what happens is to the world around you, you start looking reactionary or reclusive. And what happens is because you're living this inner, I would call it, the word I'm getting for it is turmoil. Because if it's something that you're internalizing, it will eat you apart. If it's something that much that you can't say it to anyone, it is something that's like a hidden secret and it can cause shame even and fear, a lot of fear, a lot of discomfort in a lot of ways and it can also cause physical illness. And what happens is because you're internalizing it and it's bothering you so much because it's a constant, because you know whatever you don't let out of your mind, whatever you don't let out of your, your heart, it just festers. And then when the world around you is going on and people say things or, or do things and it triggers that thing that you've been internalizing, most times you will probably react to it and um, shock the people <laughs> that you're around because they won't understand why you got so mad or you might just start yelling at them or getting pissed off at them, writing them a nasty text or email. And they're like, Whoa, where is this coming from? All I said was ABC. Like, why is this, why, why is she getting all pushed out of shape? 
and you become uh, accusatory, like you will accuse people of um, thinking you're some way or, or doing something to you, and they are like in shock because they don't know where it's coming from. Because the truth is that you're living a completely different reality than the reality they know of you because you are internalizing all of that and creating this whole other world that nobody knows about by your feelings and nobody knows you like that because you don't share that so they don't know that they might say something or do something that um, they have no idea that that could trigger you or upset you and they usually I will say 99% of the time well if they don't know what you're thinking then a hundred percent of the time they aren't saying anything or doing anything to get you upset but you get upset because you've been internalizing these feelings and just because they say something you react and that's not really fair because they don't even know that part of the story for you they don't know what you're thinking or going through or feeling and and they're just you know basing uh, their communication with you off what they know of you and so you're living two realities basically you're living the reality of your inner world that's like crumbling and and hurting and making you fearful and confused and insecure and then you're living the outside world with other people where you're not being honest with them and being the person that you really are like you're being two different people you're being who you are to yourself and you're being who you are in front of other people so when you react to people and in, like they say something and you get triggered and they're like whoa like they get shocked they they're like what the hell why are they saying that what are they talking about like they totally won't understand and then what you either close them off or they kind of feel repelled from you because they really don't understand where you're coming from and then you're just all pissed off and whose fault is all of that yeah it's your fault because you are living this internal secret hidden life of emotion that you're not sharing with others and then shocking people with when you get irritated and it just comes out so because you're holding it in there's no outlet and when there's no outlet when something triggers you you like puke it out like you just get pissed off and you just react to people and that's that's your way of outlet a little at a time are these short outbursts and you end up having people around you that feel weird being around you don't trust the relationship with you because they don't know where you're coming from they don't understand and and then you get pissed off and you block them off you don't want to talk to them you don't like them you project all of your anger upon them when they didn't even know to begin with that what is even going on so you can see how this could create a lot of problems in your life and we all know that the secret to life is to be able to communicate like that's a big deal this be being able to be, communicate how we feel what we think about things and if you hold all that in and create all of these scenarios that end up being worse than they started and then reacting all over the place to people and they don't understand it really is a confusing life for those around you and yourself and you will be very unhappy and this is just a really um, self-degrading way to be and people like this end up getting having health issues because emotional issues like that that bother you and um, disharmony with the people around you and yourself uh, creates illness in the physical body and then you might you know people that have that they get diseases and all kinds of things and then they don't get cured because they try to fix it with whatever medications or Western medical treatments but they're not going to the core issue of how it was created to begin with which is this internalizing of feelings this breakdown in your life breakdown in your self-love and self-care and health breakdown in the relationships around you and um, your experience your life experience 
So my work is I work with people one on one. Um, I also work with people in a group setting online and I take people on journeys around the world to help them to open up to themselves and and get to know themselves on deeper levels. And really, you might say, yeah, you know, I do that. But when you have someone that can help you do that, you can get really deep and really find out so much more about yourself and then start living your life in a way that feels good, that feels fulfilling, that feels more open and accepting and and on purpose and you know it's not full of drama and upset and projection and anger and illness like you know what a waste of time and life being like that now the first thing is it's good to tell people how you feel and if you don't tell people how you feel you have to address why you feel so insecure about saying how you feel. You know, people could either accept how you feel or not accept how you feel. And that's fine. That's fine. And the more you do that, the more you will align with people that, that you know, feel like you, that support the same kind of visions and perceptions as you. And then you learn how to deal with the people that don't because that there's learning in that too. And maybe there's something that you missed or something that you could think of better and you know life is about learning and the way we learn is by discussing and sharing how we feel and maybe we change our mind and maybe we don't but there's never anything wrong with talking about how you feel and expressing that but when you hold it in and hold it in and hold it in it starts blocking up your energy it starts closing you off it starts making you miserable in your everyday life and then, you know, you just like are an attack dog for anyone that comes your way that that might say something that just triggers an emotion in you because you've been holding it in so much. And then you just like lash out or just, you know, want to bite their head off. And that's weird. That's not normal. It's not normal. I'm, I'm going to be straight up with you. If you don't know me or you do know me, I'm telling you that I am going to be straight up and transparent because... Ultimately, I want you to live the best life you can. I don't want you to have to struggle with unnecessary anger and drama and sadness and illness like it's not even worth it. But it's not normal to hold things in and then snap on people because they say something that you've been internalizing about and they have no clue why you're getting angry. That is a reflection of you withholding parts of yourself when you don't have to. And maybe things happened in your childhood that taught you that you can't speak up, that you don't, your opinions aren't valid and, and don't matter. But I'm here to tell you that that's a lie. Everybody's opinions and thoughts and, and perceptions, they're all valid. They all matter. And we're not all here to agree with each other. And that's, that's part of being here. We're all different. We're not a bunch of robots that are supposed to think the same way, agree with everything, disagree with everything. I mean, you learn more about yourself and why you feel certain ways by sharing, by discussing, by experiencing. And that's one of the things that I do in my work is I create experiences. So you can experience more of yourself and understand yourself and get the clarity that you need to guide yourself forward in the best feeling way. And we all have our ups and downs, but if we have a guide, if we have um, you know, a focus and a stable foundation to work from, it can be an amazing experience, an amazing up and down in life. But when you feel like you're down, 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 and you're, you just feel tired, tired or you feel hopeless or you feel angry all the time or like people are after you or doing something to you or people not understanding you but you're not willing to share your ideas and perceptions and insights then we got to talk because um you know you start 
by sharing with maybe one-on-one. -on -one. Like I could work with you and we can find out what's at the core of that and, and how to feel more comfortable with how you think and how you perceive, first of all, because if you're not sharing, it's because you have a problem with the way you feel and find out why you do and why you feel like that. Because maybe when you were growing up, someone made you feel really insecure or stupid or unworthy. You know, there's all kinds of reasons why we do things. I don't believe anybody just says, well, I'm just going to withhold and I'm going to internalize because um, I'm just screwed up and nothing else had to do with that. And, and I don't think you're screwed up for internalizing either. I just feel like something happened that taught you that habit. And we can get down to the bottom of that and free yourself from that. Because when you internalize like that, you're all buying, you know, you feel bound up inside. You feel so stiff and closed up and <sighs> just be able to breathe again and feel calm and normal and open and able to just be yourself is the goal in life. Be yourself, authentically yourself, speaking your truth, having your own perceptions and opinions and being okay with what those are, whether other people agree or not. Anyway, this is a huge subject, but um, you know, just know that it can really, really cause your life to be very unhappy and very unfulfilling and mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically ill. And nothing's worth, worth that. that. There's nothing worth anything to experience that as part of your life when you can choose to live a much more open, fulfilling, harmonized life. So if you're interested and seeing how I could help you, check out my website at cindyeiler.com and send me a message. And let's talk about what's going on and where, where I could help you. And, you know, there's no time like the present to give yourself the gift of your life back in a more positive, fulfilling, happy, calm, open way. So, I'm Cindy Eiler, and I help you understand and transform your life. It's not as hard as you think it might be when you work with somebody that knows how to guide you. So, just send me an email, and let's talk about it, and we'll take it from there. I hope you guys are enjoying my daily sound bites that I've been posting on my Cindy Eiler Spiritual Journey page, and if you're just seeing it for the first time, please go ahead and like that page and set the notifications so you know when I go live or when I upload a video. And I just want to let you know that I have a few trips coming up this year that I'm taking groups to transform your life and understand yourself better and have an amazing gift that will keep giving to you for the rest of your life. Honestly, it will. The results that come from my trips are amazing. So um, we have one coming up in May for seven days in Bimini, Bahamas. It's so low key, but it's so, so healing and you feel so purified and um, it's magical. It's really an exceptional, exceptional and extraordinary trip. Uh, we're also going to Egypt for 12 days at the end of August and that's hugely transformational. You will find out so much about yourself. You will feel so much more connected with who you are, not only in this physical body, but at a soul level and understanding your destiny a lot more. And then also we go to Hawaii in October for a week. And that's always, always so eye opening, so life enhancing, so life changing. All of these experiences, I can't tell you how priceless they are. If you give yourself the gift of allowing yourself to go have an experience with me where I guide you and every day you have a shift, every day you get some huge insight about yourself that by the end you're just like blown away in an amazing way. Send me a, an email, send me a message 
and let's talk about how we can make it happen for you. So thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for being here. And see my, uh, go to my Cindy Eiler Spiritual Journeys page and scroll down because I've been doing videos every day and you can see a lot of different videos that I've posted and I will continue to do so. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let's take care of you and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.